Hello everyone, Rad here from Rad's Good Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising monthly tarot reading June 2018. This is going to be a four position enhanced spread and the first position does express a Pisces topic for the month. The second position does shows up the challenges Pisces will have during the month of June, like this. Third position does shows up the positivity month of June has to offer to Pisces and the last card does expresses up the final outcome which Pisces are going to achieve or the result of the rest of the previous three positions. So as this is an enhanced spread is going to be two cards per position because the, the enhanced spread is about multiple cards into one position. And the first card for the first position which is the uh, topic of the month this is going to be the nine of wands with the seven of um, with the seven of pentacles. So for what it seems you are gonna take it very slowly and very easy Pisces during that month it's because you are you're gonna find yourself very very suspicious. For what it seems there is a, a big plan that is undertaking in your life all right and you are the very exec uh, executor of that particular plan but for what it seems right now the uh, or during the month of June the conditions are going to be exactly the conditions you want to have for that plans for that plan to take place. So what is the best thing to do during that month is as I said take it easy and don't invest yourself way too much especially if we're talking about alien um, <clears throat> alien enterprises or in other words uh, you know the the deeds of others but just do your job into your career uh, attend to your relationship as far as it needs to you know and those who are uh, who are feeling uh, oppressed into one relationship they shouldn't feel obliged to invest at all in it the thing with the seven of pentacles and with the nine of wands is that you have to conserve your energy here all right you you need to uh, build up that momentum but within yourself and you need to show patience as a virtue because the moment of your rising or the moment of your prevail is going to be probably in July or, or, or August, not in that month. And right now, instead of wasting your energy for um, a, a, a futile goals or rather like uh, investing way too much and getting clo close to none, little to none, excuse me, in return, it is, as I said, it is best to just lay low and um, keep on waiting. It is kind of like praying, all right? And um, under praying, I mean stalking your prey. Because it is like the lion in a lion in the high grass. The lion chooses the right moment, you know, to attack the victim because otherwise they are going to deprive them, themselves for the rest of the day from eating. Because once if they um, if they miss the shot, you know, the whole pack. Of food is gone they are no longer there so basically this is uh, your position here you have to pray your victim all right uh, or your co uh, or, or your uh, your quarry inquiry or quarry all right so uh, this was for the uh, topic of the month and now we are going to the uh, challenges that you have to face here we have the eight of uh, the uh, ace of Pentacles with the three of pentacles so these uh, these cards are pointing that there will be something involved about structure all right these cards are pointing that you will find it very difficult to hide your intentions from those which are your adversaries all right uh, and things will be very difficult to be systemized and structured so in other words uh, it will be best if you go playful all right rather than being strict because these cards are pointing also that you are going to have a lot of criticism coming in your way uh, on your performance in general what I mean is that <clears throat> people will be baffled why you are doing certain things you know and it is obvious for you why but the thing is that they don't have to know and they should not know why you are doing certain things so <clears throat> you keeping up that particular behavior of being secretive and surreptitious you know may deprive you from a certain support that you are counting on that being said it will be best if you as I said take it easy you know be more playful than serious be more uh, <clears throat> kind of like spontaneous 
than surreptitious and uh, uh, the, these cards as well are pointing that it will be how can I place it it's really tough to place it but uh, it, it will be difficult to maintain um, harmony into into communications because as I said there will be something back in your mind that you want to initiate and you know that many is, are not going to like it all right but again it is for your development it is for your happiness and it has to be done whether some like it or doesn't like it all right so the challenge will be the communication with people and maintaining the support that you uh, require uh, for your personal development. And then we do have the positivity. We have the Four of Wands with the Empress. First thing I want to say is that whatever you are after and whatever you are trying to execute that you are trying to hide from others, it is the right thing to do. This is displayed by these, four, uh, by these two cards. Second of all, it does look like with those four cards that the month of June is going to be the month where you are going to attend to every single minor detail of your plan and you are going to prepare it for initiative stage. All right, only the timing, it is what you require. The Empress point that your decision making is going to be very mature and as well very confident and very calm. So you, are not, you will have that poker face where no one will be able to penetrate through. As well, the Four of Wands, this point here as a main card that this month is going to be just on the verge of, develop, of finalizing a very important cycle of developing. All right, I, a lot, a, a hard toil, a hard work is going to start bearing fruits for you, and you will almost taste uh, the uh, the victory here. It's, as I said, it is just the moment that is eluding you, and the moment is going to come. But you need to show patience. Now, <clears throat> as we are looking at these couple of cards, this also points that in order to uh, in, in order to kind of like. Um, what is the English word here? Uh, to kind of scatter the suspicious of uh, of the others, you need to show some uh, solidarity and also the readiness to make small sacrifices for them, so they can uh, they can calm their wavering, all right, and don't cause you any difficulties when you initiate that particular um, that particular plan of yours. And oh my God, I sound like uh, you know uh, now I'm hearing myself, and I sound like you are uh, about to rob a bank or kill someone. Somebody. But no, this could be a plan for you leaving your job. This could be a plan that you uh, that you want to file a divorce application, you know, or this could be a plan where you want to just separate from your family and start living on your own. But knowing that the other part is going to put you in opposition, you know, and is going to be a severe opposition, you would rather want to just keep your mouth shut, you know, and not raise any suspicious whatsoever about it. So that kind of an approach, it is what we have. These, uh, as I said with previous reading, the nine of uh, um, the nine of wands for a, a go and for a, a, a topic, it is a, about making changes. Your changes so they they can make your life uh, comfortable. But the point is that these changes in that particular. Um, in that particular case, are not uh, are not going to make other people's life com uh, comfortable, or at least not the majority of people. You know, they are going to just make your life and the the life of those very close to you comfortable. So, uh, yeah, it is best for you to not reveal the very end goal that you do have in your mind for the time being of June. And the last card showing the final outcome, we do have the Lover's card for yourself with the Nine of Pentacles. And this is the initiation here, the very first decision you make about how to initiate your, uh, your planning in a way that is going to benefit you the most. This is the deal you strike, the deal of the century that you strike for your career. This is the person you get invested in, in investing in for creating relationship. This is your personal independence and sovereignty. This is your liberty here. Whatever it is for you, I, I don't know for every single one of you because it depends what you are after, but that is the combination for success and that is the combination for the right success because 
through the decision here with the lover's card which is your in your case plays the role of a choice where you choose in between what you have to do and what you want to do you create huge amounts of harmony in between you and those which are substantial for your life and not those which are meaningless to your further development and with the nine this and with the support of the nine of pentacles actually that choice cannot be wrong all right it's just how the elements play here this choice it will be always right for you and as I said the nine of pentacles it is a about uh, liberty it is a about personal independence independence being being confident for um, on, on oneself or going forward on your own and as well uh, it is a about catching up the big fish or striking up the uh, deal of the century so a little bit more patience Pisces and a little bit more uh, playing a code of conduit that is not your code of conduit the end is near of that and you will be able to detach from it as plain as painless as possible <clears throat> if that's uh, if that's possible in your case it's just you need to keep up your maturity in check yeah you need to keep up your decision making in check as well and uh, one more thing I want to say with these couple of cards here is that you should not by any means explain yourself why too much whatever you are about to do just do, just do it without giving too much explanations about it so that being said this was your uh, monthly tarot reading Pisces for June 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rod signing out now see you next time bye